Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Isn't that a beautiful angel playing a harp? It's a beautiful angel playing a harp. It's just, yeah, that's so, well, it's mm. adorable. She looks so serene and peaceful. So peaceful. So, so benevolent. Yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. How did that get there? I don't know. Well, anyway. We're going to talk about two major things going on right now. We have flooding in Louisiana Parish. Leads to evacuations after a week of heavy rain. And in, in fact, if we look over here, we see evacuations ordered for hundreds after temporary dam fails in southern Louisiana. Hundreds of people have been ordered to evacuate from a rural community in southern Louisiana after a flood barrier known as the Aqua Dam failed. And water began pouring over a roadway. Evacuations were ordered about 10 a.m. for about three to 300 to 350 homes in an area known as Bayou Pigeon, about 34 miles southwest of Baton Rouge and Iberville Parish. Water is coming, and if we don't stop it very quickly, it will flood a lot of houses that historically don't flood. Sheriff Brett Stasi told Weather.com in a phone call on Friday afternoon. I know Bayou, Bayou Pigeon. We've, mm -hmm. we've watched some of those gator hunters down in those areas. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Think about the flooding in an area that is loaded with gators. Right. I just want to say a quick thank you to Miss Shantae for shooting this out to us. That's a road going to, well, nowhere unless you could transition into a boat. <laughs> maybe, maybe the next big vehicle out there for, for sales in this new world that we're in will be something that you could basically drive and also boat, yeah. sail, and then maybe also fly. Wouldn't that be so cool if oh. you could just bounce between all three? I think they would sell good. Honey, the dam broke. The bridge is out. No problem. We'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and we'll, we'll just, convert to being a boat. Yeah, we'll just... There's float. a tsunami coming. Ah, no problem. I'm just going to put the wings out and we'll fly above mm -hmm. it. Good idea. I think that's what we're going to need we're in these times. On to something. Mandatory emergency evacuation, all Bayou Sorrel residents of JR Drive and all Bayou Pigeon. Evacuate to the Carl F. Grant Civic Center, Red Cross Shelter, 24700 J. Gerald Barrett Boulevard and Plaquemines. So you can see Highway 75 is closed. It's a mess. It's a mess. You know, this. Now, Cindy got from the guys. I asked them, is this artificially flavored? They said this was just basically. Uh, cheap construction, poor construction, mm -hmm. not really able to handle what we have going on. Mm -hmm. And so this, though, we got a different answer for. China is shaking, strong, major, 7.3 quake. This is USGS 7.3, 7.4 EMSC. It's just four hours after a 6.1, sending people running into the streets. This is major. As you see the locations here, big, big quakes. As you can see, this energy is equivalent, uh, well, to a lot. We're, we're talking power of many, many atomic bombs. And you have at least 10 aftershocks. There's videos here. You can see people just pouring out into the streets. That's a big one. This is a big one. You know, everything is ramping up tremendously in so many different ways and we we told you guys we got from the guides just about a week ago now they told us uh, be prepared for within three weeks we're going to see some major things coming down that could potentially include um, grid failures i think grid failures are going to become more and more common obviously you know the bigger quakes obviously the flooding going to all new levels as we see this one here, this is in uh, Qinghai. And there's not a ton of people here. It's more of a rural area. About 30% of China's salmon farming comes from this area. It will have economic impact, of course, as we're just looking. Let's see what we got. We're going to go into the map only. So, yeah, we have 10 quakes here right now between the two areas all together. So when we asked the guides about this, we asked if there was anything artificial going on here. The answer was... Oh, they're being attacked. Yeah. So this, 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 what we got from the guides was this is basically 
Well, you remember Tesla had a quake machine back in New York, I think it was in the 1880s. Mm -hmm. uh, can you imagine 140 years later the type of technology we would have? Mm -hmm. And of course, te Tesla, he feels like he was a starseed for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, he was so far advanced compared to most of the humans on the planet with his knowledge and ability to see and construct things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is most definitely, as we've been saying, covert warfare going on. Mm -hmm. Covert warfare. Uh, tits for tat, basically. So here's, Back and forth. Yes, so here's this one, and guess who's going to probably see something next? Our yeah. infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, that that's what we've been getting. It, it you know the the attacks are basically on infrastructure. Uh, you know the bridge. Gosh, the barge. Mm -hmm. We had we had we had hundreds of barges in the Mississippi River that were all blocked up because of that crack in the bridge. Mm -hmm. We've had unusual train derailments left and right. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we have wildfires going on that. They strongly suspect arson with. This is all the buildup to to what is is coming and has been planned. If you believe, you know Albert Pike, 1871, three WW is in the plans of the group that starts with an I, ends with an I. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you do, and even if you don't, this is. To me, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, it, it could have been centered in a different area. I, I don't know or understand the technology involved in this. Maybe you guys do. Some of you guys might uh, understand the, the, the engineering that would be involved. What type of uh, weapon? Uh, I would suspect perhaps, uh, you know, maybe Sonic. Uh, sonic type of weapon on fault lines but you know there there are no major fault lines here that i'm aware of as this is pretty far in off the plate um and if we go on out you know here's some plate boundaries here that's fairly far in i mean we do see them but 7.3 so far in off the plate uh yeah, that's a little bit. Of, I would say that's a little bit unusual. It's more of an alien technology. Um, we're not going to be able to perceive it with our minds, but that's what's going on. It's kind of a down here, up there conglomeration. And as we've uh, been saying, you know, disclosure is coming. They have no choice. You know, it's coming. They want to put their spin on it. They must control the narrative. They will be showing us beings that they're going to say they're they're not from here. Yeah, maybe they're going to roll out people that have been living in the inner earth, very well could be, or living under the oceans in dome cities, perhaps, or maybe some that have been up watching us, mm -hmm. watching us from the moon base, maybe. Interesting, and in Italian lore, and Etruscan lore, uh, Italian witches are known as strega. And their legend says that when they when people die, they go to the moon. And the moon is like a soul processing plant, so to speak. Um, very curious, because that's where the Grigori are. And what does Grigori translate to? Well, basically, watchers. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting. And we've talked again about how not just the Etruscans, but some other Native Americans remember a time when the moon wasn't there and that it was put there by two brothers who happened to resemble Enlil and Enki, by mm -hmm. the way. So yes, one person uh, lost their life that we know of so far over in that 6.1. Um, but definitely, as it says here, significant economic losses. And because it's in a rural area, no immediate reports of death other than this one person. But significant economic losses pretty terrifying to think with the technology out there of what can be done with covert weather warfare weather warfare and you know as well as what will appear to be earth changes terrifying moment a suspension bridge swings out of control 
This is in China too, because of absolutely intense winds that have wrecked havoc on China's bridges. And there's video here too. Oof, I would not be wanting to go across that thing when it was being whipped out like that. By the way, Montana, record snowstorm. Here we are heading into the latter part of May. Feet of snow may break many records. As we are realizing that it is, in general, it's heading towards a cooling pattern, guys. Meanwhile, Delhi in India records the highest ever 24-hour rainfall in May, which was double the previous record. Double. And then, of course, you had the cyclone that hit there. Tremendous economic damage. And again, what we're getting is supply chain disruptions. And yes, it, there's going to be shortages. Shortages are coming. New tropical cyclone forming in the Bay of Bengal, by the way, as well. This is just several days after destructive tropical cyclone Tokte hit India, claiming the lives of more than 100 people. Another tropical cyclone is brewing. This one's going to form probably around 24th, and it'll be named Yas. And it'll be the second named storm of the season in this area. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll have to see what the Atlantic season's going to bring, guys. And by the way, there is a new and infectious corona, not the beer, virus, jumping from dogs to human. And we were talking about prophecy on the first video today and talking about Nostradamus. And one of his prophecies talks about this plague that is so great. He says neither you know humans nor animals uh, may survive as far as it may claim such a loss of life to be almost unthinkable. So, you know, again, we, we all know about well, I'm assuming most of you guys watching understand. I see in the comments that I'd say, as far as our regular crowd, almost everybody's awake. Mm -hmm. uh, that's for sure. The regulars are awake. Of course, you get people coming in here and there that uh, maybe are not fully awake or they're awake to one aspect of the paradigm but not awake to others, you know. Mm -hmm. So hopefully more and more will awaken. We have to unify as much as possible, demand different a different way of doing things, you know, and on this planet, because basically, obviously, it, it has not been a system that is benevolent to humans or other forms of life on this planet. And it will go away. It's going to pass. It, its time is limited. And as we said before, come that 2030 area, the energies that are going to be penetrating are going to be too high vibe for the control system to hang on anymore. But we do have a roller coaster ride ahead, especially for perhaps right now till about 2025. That's going to be uh, challenging. But again, prepare in every way. And I would say the most important way is really spiritually. Because again, you know, this trip in this body that you find yourself in right now, that's temporary. You know, you are forever. <laughs> Absolutely. So with that in mind, just know that everybody who's sensitive is having a, a difficult time. But hang on, because this is like the calm. Well, not the calm before the storm, but this is the part where, you know, it's going to start getting sticky and it's going to get a little more difficult. So like Mike said, find your spiritual practice, stick to it and things watch things will get better and better and better, even though you'll go through certain ups and downs is if you have that spiritual practice, it won't be as difficult to go through those ups and downs. And yes, light workers, star seeds, you know, we are getting attacked big time. We're hearing that from almost every single person that we're working on. And again, most days when we're working on six to eight people typically. Um, and we're finding that they're all going through these trials and tribulations that feel like a direct energetic psychic attack, sometimes even more than that, even physical. Um, and as we shared with you guys, we, we had a run-in with a power cable that wasn't down on a road, a country road, uh, an hour previously, come back, and it was just time perfect to, to whap us. And mm -hmm. thankfully, we didn't lose control of the vehicle. 
Uh, but we have gotten from the guides that, yes, uh, you know, most definitely we are being targeted. Many other people are being targeted. You got to recognize again, um, and even though I don't follow the official version, you know, from the biblical perspective, there are things out there that are correct. And this is spiritual warfare. It is. You know, that part's most definitely on. And there is, you know, most definitely an enemy that controls this planet that's roaming about like a hungry lion right now. Mm -hmm. Also, because it's a it's a lion that knows its food supply might be yanked from it in a short amount of time. And so, you know, it wants to feed and feed in, in numbers right now. So this is the critical time period that we are entering. Things are going up to an all new level. Um, be as prepared as you can. And, you know, you guys know, as we've been sharing with you, our trials and tribulations ourselves. And, you know, we just got more disappointing news today. So, you know, we'll roll with the punches. Maybe we'll get a bigger trailer and stay indefinitely on the road um, and just, you know, practice our sun gazing more and practice our prana drawing more. I did share with you guys before I got a vision when I was meditating that the guides were showing me MREs, meals ready to eat. That were labeled like prana, ki, chi, vril, life force. I think they were telling me, don't worry as much about the food situation uh, as your personal energies, keeping your energies up, keep your life force up, build your wei chi field. The wei chi field is the external field that protects the body against infections and disease and also lower vibrational entities. This is a must, an absolute must. So, you know, do whatever you can for yourselves uh, to get yourself away from any sort of negative vibrations. That can mean people, that can mean, you know, certain towers in the neighborhood. Uh, it might mean, you know, packing up and moving as so many are doing in these times. And that's why we you know, do have so much of a housing crisis right now. Mm -hmm. But we want to thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Thanks for being part of the family. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell click. And if you found this useful, do give it a thumbs up to help support the channel. If you need to make an appointment, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com or eearts at protonmail.com. God bless and namaste. Namaste.